And the new Catholic Archbishop of Abuja Diocese, Archbishop Ignatius Ikaigama, they call on the federal government to make sure a transparency day for the distribute of relief for the poor plus vulnerable way they affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Archbishop Kaigama opened this matter as him being the mark the Palm Sunday celebrate via Sunday service mass for unusual way. And one empty auditorium for the Catholic headquarters inside Abuja, only the leadership for the church and them they inside attendance. Our correspondent, Amadin Ui, get this report. Many of the faithful had converged on the church auditorium, but they were left disappointed as they were sent out of the church. Disappointingly, they trooped out in their numbers with hopes dashed, unable to attend the Palm Sunday service. We had given the instructions that this would be a limited liturgical celebration. You know, people are eager. They are hungry for the Mass. They are hungry for Jesus, and they force their way here. The federal government order of uh, not having uh, public um, uh, events affects the church, and therefore this Mass is uh, actually a private Mass that's meant for the bishop and his household alone uh, because of the uh, corona, corona virus uh, pandemic. Shortly after, the Mass started as the Archbishop and other members of the church commenced celebration of the Sunday service. The sitting arrangement was evident. The church was trying to obey the federal government's social distancing policy. The new Archbishop, Ignatius Kaigama, urged those present not to be discouraged, especially over the empty auditorium. Even though we have the orders, not to have public worship, we were not told to stop celebrating private masses. We Catholics are not used to an empty church like this, especially on a Sunday. Our churches are known for being well crowded. I know that you who are watching or listening from home, would have loved to be in church today. But that you cannot do so is not your fault. This is the very first time in my nearly 40 years of uh, priesthood that I have had to um, attend and celebrate um, a Palm Sunday a Mass without the congregation. Um, I do hope that it doesn't ever happen again because it's, it's because this is a very significant moment for the for the Christian uh, people. Archbishop Kaigama expressed optimism that the coronavirus pandemic will usher a new beginning for the country. There is global solidarity, gro global sympathy and empathy. I would say, you know, before now, you know, some nations in crisis were left on their own. But now we see that the, the pandemic has affected everybody, the mighty and the low, the superpowers, the so-called third world countries and so on. And um, we have all been reduced to the same level, which shows that there is somebody greater and that person is God. And also tax the federal government to ensure transparency and shun corruption in the distribution of relief materials for the poor and needy. I am happy that structures are put in place and facilities have been provided. What we want to see is the impact this would have on the situation, the functionality of the facilities and structures they would put on ground, and then that the resources provided by generous people and the funds set aside by government will be used with maximum prudence, with maximum sincerity and honesty that this should not get lost in transit. It should reach its final de destination. With the saying that tough time calls for tough measures, for today's pumps on the service, caution has been the watchword. Amadin Ui, Plus TVF.